Remember air resistance. Let's get quantitative about it. Suppose you have a not very streamlined object like this plate and you push it through the air at constant speed v. Suppose our object with cross-sectional area A travels a distance d equals vt. Then suppose that all of the air in front of it is accelerated from rest up to speed v. So we have to do work on that air. And the work is a half mv squared. Using the density, rho equals mass over volume, and the volume, ad, we have mass equals rho ad equals rho a vt. Substitute that for mass, and we have work equals half rho at v cubed. Divide both sides by time to get the power, we see the power goes as v cubed. That's an important reason why it's hard to go fast. Twice as fast, eight times the power. We're not finished yet, because sometimes this picture underestimates the amount of air accelerated. And in most cases, it overestimates it, especially if the object is streamlined in which case it pushes much of the air out of the way rather than accelerating it. So we include a factor called the drag coefficient, c sub d. That's yet another empirical constant. We usually have to measure it experimentally. Happily, c sub d turns out to be almost independent of the speed v. Here are some approximate values. Well, you can guess what's coming. Yes, a question about power and air resistance.